This is a Space Creatures XL. This is the winged amphibian creature. And check him out. Hello, everybody. John Spanky Stokes here with another toy review. And guess what? Today, I am recording this. This is January 1st, 2021. We survived. Happy New Year, everybody. If you have a job, if you have your health, if you have your family, you are very blessed. And thank you guys for watching these videos. A new year, more tons, lots, humongous amounts of videos to come. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. Looks like that, kind of shaking around, it's red, kind of like that. Just hit it, it'll help me out. We hit 2,000 subscribers before last year, that was awesome. Let's get another 1,000 subscribers in 2021, that would be amazing. Um, so here we are, the first video of 2021. We're gonna kick things off with Last Resort Toys. See that little dude right in the, uh, the bomb? So, Brian over at Last Resort Toys, he likes to take small things and make them big. He is a fan of nostalgia, of the weird, of the um, ubiquitous figure, figures, toy lines. And uh, he's made, taken small minis from way old times, like back in the 70s and 80s, and blown them up, massive sized. Check out the iCard. We've done a couple reviews, uh, unboxings of some of the other figures he's done. But this time, this is a, a figure from the diner. Get it? Kind of like diner, but like where you eat at, but more like die, like you're gonna die. This is a Space Creatures XL. This is the winged amphibian creature. And check him out. So, a little backstory on these. The OG diner space creature were eraser toys. And like I said before, they were somewhat mysterious. You would find them in vending machines. They were given away as like school prizes, Happy Meal toys, cheap drugstore toys. Um, you would get them at your dentist office sometimes. Everyone had them, but few remember where they came from. Um, so this is based off of an old eraser that you would put on your pencil. Um, and you can see the entire line right here. Collect them all. They are all not made just yet, but we can get to that in a second. So here's, here's our dude up here flying around, the wing amphibian creature. Um, super sized, XL, four times bigger than the original. And there are other ones, as you can see. And actually, the next one is coming out. This guy right here, the dude with the giant head and the veins in it. The vein cranium creature is actually on a Kickstarter right now. And he needs your help. So I'm gonna link that down below. If you guys wanna help him make this one, he's really close. I'm, when I'm recording this, there's like seven days left, I believe to get in on the action, help him make this one a reality, and then all the rest will come. So, as you can see, it's bag with a header card. This was successfully funded through a Kickstarter last year, around the same time. Cool, nice big header card for a nice big figure. And this guy, he just looks rad, right? A nice big yellow, Creature. Let's see how tall he is with my not so dirty ruler anymore since I kind of cleaned it. This dude stands over eight and a half inches tall. Can you see that? Or is it? Yeah, eight and a, yeah, it's over eight and a half inches tall. Nice sized figure. Oh, just hit that light. Don't need to do that. And 
these are officially licensed, by the way, from the original company that, that made the Eraser toys. You can see the foot stamp on the bottom. Diner Space Creature XL, Last Resort Toys 2020. 2019, I'm sorry. But the, the detailing on the figure, it's pretty much spot on to how the Eraser was. Which is really cool if you if you remember having these, or if you just like a, you know, if you just like a nice creature, a nice monster, some some neo kaiju. This dude's pretty rad. I, I love the uh, the nostalgia, the the old school look it has, and the fact that it has some history to it. Um, it it's it's pretty cool. I, I dig it. Um, so. If you guys dig this too, they have some available. Uh, there's a blue colorway over at Tenacious Toys, and that's retailing for 85 bucks of this guy. Um, it's a blue version. This yellow version, I believe Brian has some of them in his store, but the store is down right now. I think he's like preparing to put more stuff up in or trying to figure that out, but I looked for his store and it just it gave me a 404 error. So um, I'll link that down below just in case it does pop up again and you guys can go snag up what he has. He's got all kinds of figures. Um, but Benny over at Tenacious Toys has a whole section and I'll link that down below too where you can buy the minis, um, a lot of the older figures that he's released. Uh, it's, it's a whole slew of just really fun monsters. And this yellow one, it's a really nice vibrant yellow. Just an FYI, if you guys can't see that in the video, really dig it. But yeah, the main purpose of this is to, to show off the first figure in the Diner series, the Diner Space Creature XL series, and to push you guys towards that Kickstarter to actually get another, I think it's a pink version of this, that's one of the awards, rewards you can, or pledges you can pledge, the tiers. Let me get my, my words straight here. So you can get a pink one of these and help fund the, the new figure, the, the vein, the veined cranium creature. Link is down below. If you guys have made it this far, I appreciate you. Hit that subscribe button. Once again, it's this little, Ding, 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 ding. Go ahead and just click that red button below. Subscribe. I would appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching so much. Thanks for Brian for sending this creature out. This awesome, large vinyl figure that he is just taking and, and running with. The uh, smaller eraser kind of monster in my pocket line of figures and uh, blowing them up super size so you can really appreciate them amongst your other larger figures in your collection. But thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos this year. And um, thank you again. And like always, peace and hair grease.